Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another episode of the Benny the Jet Rodriguez story here on MLB 15 the show. Guys, I know a lot of you have been asking for me to show you kind of an update on what I've been doing with the player. Kind of give you guys an, a rundown of the attributes that I've been improving and, you know, where I haven't really been making much of an effort. So the majority of what I've been doing is kind of taking a look specifically at the contact and the power for my hitter. I've also been really focusing on things like plate vision and batting clutch, uh, you know, stuff like that that'll help me hit in those really clutch moments where I really, really need to come up with a big hit, guy on second base, guy on third base kind of a thing. So that's what we've been focusing on. Haven't really been too worried about the fielding or the arm strength or anything like that as of yet because it really hasn't been too much of an issue lately. Made a couple of improvements early in the season to those attributes, and ever since then it's been pretty good. I haven't really worried about it too much. So... First at bat of today's game, we've got runners on first and second already here in the bottom of the second. And guys, if you don't remember, we actually did get promoted in our previous episode. So if you guys didn't see that, go ahead and check it out. Go back and see that video. And we're going to start things off here by lining out a single to left field. And the runner is going to score from second base. So we do get an RBI in our first at bat today. Nice, nice start to this one. Look at this contact that we're going to make. Just boom. It's a little low, but we lift it out there past the shortstop, and we're able to get it out there for an RBI, so that's nice. Now, same type of situation here in the bottom of the third. Our team, though, is down 3-2 to two already in this one. Runners on first and second again. Got to try and come up with another clutch hit. I was talking about it before. Got to make sure that we make contact when, when a runner's in scoring position. I've struggled with that somewhat throughout the early part of the season. But we've done mostly pretty well. So let's see what we can do here at this at-bat. Already down 0-1, unfortunately. But on the second pitch, it's left right over the plate. And we're able to make contact on it again. Runner is going to try and score again. This time, he is the slowest runner I have ever seen. And he's thrown out at home plate. Are you serious, dude? What are you doing? How slow are you? That is just humiliating. And we're not going to get the RBI this time. So that sucks. That is the end of that inning. We get the hit, but man, that guy just couldn't get there in time, I guess. Playing in the field now, and we make a throw there over to first base, but man, we just didn't get enough power on it. So maybe I do need to improve that arm strength a little bit. We get another chance here, and this time we're able to make the throw in time. So not too bad. Bottom of the sixth now, again, down in this game, 6-2, to two, pretty much in a situation where we can't win. I mean, we've really done everything that we can in this one. We got an RBI. We should have had another RBI if the guy that was on second base wasn't freaking made of molasses, I guess. We probably should have had two RBI in this one, but unfortunately, we didn't. So uh, we're up here again, down four runs in the sixth inning. It's just so frustrating. For some reason, I just, it seems like every time that I come up to bat, it's like a worse situation than it was before. So really unfortunate, but we are going to get a nice single here to start this inning. And we're three for three now in this game. So definitely not, you know, the biggest at bats, but I mean, it, it would be nice to get a double, a triple, a home run, something like that. But hey, beggars can't be choosers. We will definitely take that three for three start to this baseball game. Next batter up is going to get a big hit here. He drives it out to left field. The left fielder can barely even find it. And we are going to be rounding third. And we are going to get in here pretty easily at home plate for our first run of the day. So three for three, run scored, RBI should have been another RBI too. Very good start to this game for us. Down seven to four now in this baseball game here in the bottom of the eighth. We've got one more chance here probably at the plate to get something going, maybe get a home run, do something to try and, you know, get into this lead a little bit that this other team has on us. I believe it's El Paso, if I remember correctly, that we're playing against in this one. But, ugh, yuck. <laughs> I'm just swinging for the fences. A pitch way, way over the plate. Uh, very, very high, and we just swing at it in ugly, ugly fashion. So, we are going to walk away with a loss in this one, 8-4. to four. Uh, Just, it, it sucks, you know? We get three hits in this one, and we just can't come up with the win. The rest of the team just not performing. Pitchers playing horribly, apparently. So hopefully they can turn it around so that we can get back on the winning path here at the AAA level. I want to make sure, man, that when I get these hits, when I have a three-hit game, that we're walking away with a win. I mean, it's frustrating when you don't. So we definitely want to try and do that. Maybe we'll have to try and hit ourselves home somehow, you know, get a home run in this game. See what we can do, though. Batting leadoff in this game. Um, the previous game, I believe we were batting ninth in the order. So this should give us at least an additional at-bat at some point during the game. 
but we'll see what we can do here. And the very first at bat, we are going to line this thing out to left field and we're going to get in here with an easy double. I actually thought for a second about trying to turn that into a triple, but he was already throwing it back by the time that we even got to second base because he kind of slowed down there at second. So uh, anyway, we're in here at second. We're going to try and take off and get to third and the ball goes past the third baseman. He actually made a pretty good throw on that, so it could have been thrown out, but he just couldn't catch the ball and get it down in time. So we are able to get in here with a beautiful steal. We're continuing pretty much right where we left off from the double-A level, stealing bases at triple-A as well. I did get thrown out once, I think, but for the most part, we've done very, very well on the base paths. Next batter is going to hit us home in this one, so we're going to score another run here. Lead off at bat, gets home, so that's always good. We've got a 3-1 to lead here in the bottom of the second, so we're in good shape. We've just got to continue where we kind of left off in the previous game, continue to try and get those hits, and this guy loves throwing curveballs. I don't know why, I just cannot freaking hit curveballs in this game. He threw that one pretty much right over the plate. It was a freaking meatball if I could just get a piece of it. And there he's going to leave another one over the plate, a little bit inside though, so we're able to actually just follow that one away. So now we're down 0-2 in this count. Going to try and do what we can to avoid a strikeout. And we are going to ground out here to the third baseman. A fairly easy play for him. Can't get over there in time. Almost tried to run that thing out. But, you know, it's just it's too difficult when the guy actually has a decent arm. And the ball is going at a good pace over there to third base. So we're out for the first time in this game. Back up again here in the bottom of the fourth. Runner on third base. We've just got to get a hit here. Got to make contact and get it out to the outfield. Uh, and try and get a hit here so that we can drive another runner home and make it a 5-1 to one baseball game here. And that's really what we're focused on doing here. But we're swinging and missing again at that damn curveball. He's throwing it twice in this at-bat to start things off. Really throwing off my eye. I just cannot freaking get a piece of that thing. And there he's going to throw it just terribly low. Nearly got away with it because I could have ran it out there because the catcher didn't catch the ball. But uh, yeah, my eye, like I said, was just, I was so focused on the curveball. And when that fastball came, I just was like, hey, I got to try and hit this thing, even though it was a terrible throw. And we strike out there in that at bat. So that's unfortunate. We did turn a double play there in the field. And now we're going to make a nice throw over here to first base. But, you know, it's just, I, I keep thinking what well, could have been. You know, it could have been if we would have gotten that hit there instead of striking out. We could have definitely tried to put this game away. But bottom of the seven, we're back up again here. Holding off on that pitch, I'm trying to really focus on not swinging and missing on so many pitches. Thankfully, the guy who's thrown all those curveballs is out of the game right now. And this guy is going to actually take off and steal second base. So instead of him being at first base, we're now in a good situation here because he is actually in scoring position. Pretty much just need to get a single. It would be nice to line one out there for a double or something so that he can get home even easier because we saw in the last game, these guys don't always run very quickly going from second base all the way home. This guy, obviously, if he stole second, has got some wheels on him, but it would make me a lot more comfortable if we could just freaking get a hit and drive him home um, with a solid contact hit and get out to second base ourselves. But 2-2 two -two count here. Gonna see what we can do, and oh goodness gracious, we're missing again on a pitch in the dirt. Just cannot freaking get a piece of it. We go one for four in this one with that double and the run, and we end up winning the game, fortunately. So uh, it's funny how we get three hits in the previous game, don't get the win, and in this game, we get one hit, and we win the game. I don't know, maybe they don't need me. Maybe I'm just not the player that they need. I, I have no idea, but we're hitting at a good pace for the most part. We're coming up with clutch at bats. We're scoring runs. We're getting RBIs. Haven't hit any home runs yet at the AAA level, so we've got to try and focus on that a little bit. I don't know. I know a couple of you guys have mentioned that there were, uh, uh, you know, possibly a little bit of a higher difficulty level type of a situation here at AAA than there was at AA. So maybe I just need to work on my power a little bit more and and uh, really focus on upgrading that if I want to actually hit home runs. But for right now, like I said, we're, we're hitting for good contact. We're getting plenty of runs and RBIs and everything like that. But it would be really nice to actually get a home run to make sure that we stay at the AAA level and don't get sent back down once this player who we're in for right now comes back from an injury. Now, we're up for the first time in this game here in the bottom of the third runner at second base. Unfortunately, we're already down three to nothing, but if we can get a hit here, that would probably drive the runner home, and we are going to make contact here, but look at that third baseman making an absolutely sick play, and look at this. He throws it over the top of the first baseman's head, but what? The guy from second base didn't run on that terrible throw? I tried to go to second because I thought for sure it would be an easy way to get two of us into scoring position, 
but he stayed at second and it ended up costing me because I ended up getting tagged out there by the first baseman who recovered the throw. Ugh. So we're out there. We did get the single. It gets credited in the scorebooks as a as a single, but really it didn't help the team at all. It was pretty much as good as a ground out or a, a pop fly even without uh, advancing the runner. So that's a little bit frustrating. Now we're up again here and we do get another single. The guy actually is going to round second this time on, an, on a little botch in the outfield there. That's a little bit interesting how he didn't do it on the previous one. This time he is going to try and take off and get over there to third. So we at least advance a runner from first to third to get him into scoring position. Unfortunately, we couldn't do anything with it. It's a 5-2 to two baseball game now. Missing there uh, a little bit late on my reaction, I think, and even a little bit late on the throw. So that guy was easily in there with a stolen base at second base. Grounding out here at this at bat. So I don't know, man. It, it just seems like I just cannot come up with those clutch hits that we need to, to uh, get things going here in this baseball game. So a little bit frustrated about that. But bottom of the ninth now, and look at that score. Just take a look at that score. 12 to 2. Our pitchers are freaking horrible. They've allowed 20 runs in the past two games. 20. That is just awful. Runner on first and second base here. So I've got a chance to at least kind of break into that. We're going to miss there on that changeup. Barely fouling it away. Could have been struck out there. But we're going to try and make contact here and, uh, you know, at least dig into this lead a little bit. I know it's not going to be a comeback. There's pretty much no chance that that's going to happen. But hopefully we can at least make contact here in this final at-bat of the game. And we'll see what we can do here on this final pitch. Here it is. And we strike out. Ugly, ugly, ugly. Not a good at-bat, but we do go two for four in this one. That's going to do it for this episode, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll talk to you guys again soon.